So the Peloton Guide. In this video, I wanna do a quick unboxing and share my first impressions of Peloton's new strength training device, which is just a camera, so I'm interested to see exactly what is in this box and maybe even try out a small workout, but ultimately that full in-depth review is going to be coming a little bit later, but let's go ahead and dive right in. What comes in the box? First off, we have the actual Peloton device itself. And by the way, I'm not gonna do what the Peloton instructor did. She was like, a remote. Batteries. Oh, the HDMI cord, the plug for the power cord. Not gonna do that, just wanna go ahead and share what's in the box. They have a mount, I believe. Yeah, this looks like the mount that you can put on your TV. They have two cords, USB-C to USB-C cord, which I believe charges or helps to plug it into power, then HDMI, and this is the brick. All right, cool. So that is what is in the box. Nothing else is up in there. So pretty simple layout here. I always love taking off the plastic because it's like precious. So first thoughts about just the physical device itself. It seems pretty durable, pretty sturdy, has this really dope security cover right here, which I think is pretty neat. If you wanna, if you think they're gonna spy on you, which if they're including this, I wonder if they do have access to your, your information. Then when you turn to the back of the device, they do have a voice activation on an off switch back here, which I'm guessing you could say like, I don't know, hey Peloton. The stand itself, what I noticed is that it's actually magnetic. I'm gonna most likely put it at the bottom of my TV and just have it angled something like that and just leave it. And the Peloton remote, which is pretty neat, looks like a back button, a menu button, which lets you access the different workouts, and then a pause and play button. So that basically wraps up the unboxing of the actual Peloton guide itself. Pretty simple, not that much included, just, you know, the remote and the actual device itself. But let's go ahead and set everything up and go through a light workout so I can share with you guys my thoughts on the actual technology of the device itself. Put some batteries in the new remote here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, turn this bad boy on. I'm excited to see, one, how much space I have. I think that's one of the things that I might be a little concerned about. I'm in the second bedroom of my New York apartment and it's not that much space, but we'll just do a testing again, just kind of see what the screen sees. So this really has a Apple TV type experience here. Probably will definitely check out one of the floor boot camps. My instructors that I could use definitely are tailored probably more towards the strength instructors. So it's a pretty dope interface. Let's go ahead and get a workout in and um, let's just see how it goes. So ultimately, I think it was pretty dope. I'm gas, guys, geez. Um, but no, it, it was really good, a really good workout. I think it's a good experience. I really did like to see how my form was being matched up, but. Okay, Editor Noah here. Notice that I might have not given a clear first impressions of the Peloton Guide, so I wanted to do a recap after my first day of using it and just share with you guys my initial thoughts. First off, I think it is a very interesting move by Peloton to go from their bigger, larger hardware like their tread and their bike to a camera. And I think that's the biggest thing for me, which is I wonder if I'm gonna use it as consistently as I use the bike currently. And I also wonder if it's more valuable to just use the camera versus using the iPad and just casting it to my TV. Second, in regards to workouts. Now the workout that I did with Adrian was really dope. He's one of the best strength trainers that Peloton has, but I wonder how the other instructors are, if they have just as good of workouts or, you know, are they exciting? Do they kind of work with good music? And then also I would be really interested to see how they build out their programs. For what I saw, they had a floor boot camp, which is like four weeks, but then everything else was just one week where it was between three to five days splits. And I just would love to see if they build that out even more. And then lastly, I just want to see if the movement tracker is a gimmick or not. When I was using it, it definitely was tracking my movements. It was pretty accurate. And I moved throughout the entire workout and it tracked that. But I also wonder if I could just wave my hands and it will track that as well. I saw in a couple of review videos that that's what, what the case was. So it just would be interesting to see if that's even worth the extra three or $400. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back to post-workout Noah. 
to close out the video. If you are debating on getting a Peloton guide, definitely let me know in the comments below what you would want me to cover in the in-depth review because I wanna dive a little bit deeper into the platform, dive deeper into kind of the metrics, how consistent everything is, and kind of all the different nuances to help you make a you know, fully measured out decision. So let me know in the comments below. If you guys are interested in the Peloton bike, I did make a video about that as well. So go ahead and check out here. And then if you just wanna see another dope video of mine, check out here. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo!